Hey everybody, Lou Ojeda here from Media Atrocities. As you know, I've been kind of covering the um, the Writer Guild strike and the Screen Actors Guild strike, and you've probably heard this is um, this is Monday, September twenty fifth, right now. And as of now, the WGA has gotten a tentative agreement to end the strike. They're um, going to go and vote uh, tomorrow uh, with the board. You know, make sure that. Um, every, every detail is covered. Assuming everything goes well tomorrow, then the writers, uh, Guild of America will no longer be on strike. The interesting thing that I want to pay attention to is what's going to happen afterward when the strike is reported on, because the WGA says that the terms that they've um, just won were, their quotes, exceptional. And this is what's going to happen with legacy media. The legacy media is going to say, oh, those producers, they gave a great deal. They're going to de-emphasize the fact that the producers, the large studios, had to be dragged kicking and screaming to making those concessions because they really did not want to. Some of them, remember, early on in the strike, wanted to starve out the writers and force them back to work. They made, what, a couple or three false starts to negotiations where there was like, you know, no, we can't accept these uh, terms. So I'm interested in seeing how the coverage is after the strike is over and who they give um, the credit to. I really do think most of the legacy media is going to say, oh, those studios, the, those producers, they're such great people because they gave them such a great deal. Instead of saying these union people fought and they won what they deserved because they stuck together in solidarity. Uh, because legacy media does not like unions. There are unions within legacy media, but the bosses there, they don't like unions. Take a look out for that after this coming Tuesday.